Hey guys, welcome to All Seven Us, and today I'm going to be transplanting my passion fruit into the ground here where it can eventually grow along this gate as a big vine. So, let's get straight into the video. So, this is my common passion fruit. I've got a second species of passion fruit, which is known as blue passion flower. So according to the internet, there are over 500 different species of passion fruit. So that was very interesting to me. Anyway, let's get straight into it by digging a hole here. Well, actually, let's move all the leaves first. Then we'll dig a hole. Then we'll plant this straight into the hole. So let's get into it. Let's just move this first so we can just yeah. move all the leaves away. I'm going to put all these leaves eventually into the composter sometime today. So let's just move a good enough area. And let's grab our shovel. I'm just gonna be using a big shovel because I don't know where any hand shovels are. So let's dig the hole. So there's a hole. The hole should pretty much, the top of the hole should be pretty much where the soil line is in the pot. So that hole should be deep enough. Now, Yeah, just had chickens doing stuff over there. So now what we've got to do, we've got to squeeze the bottom and the middle of our pot here. So just squeeze the um, pot just to loosen up the soil a little bit. Normally use two hands for this because it can be quite resistant. And then we've just got to tip it over and get the pot, get the plant out of the soil. I can't do that on camera because I'm holding the camera. So, I'll see you in a sec. So there's the plant's root system. It's looking very healthy. And let's plant this straight into the ground. So I'm just gonna... Mm, yeah, I'll need to do this off camera as well. I've got no clue how I'll do it on camera. So here we go, it's now planted. Now I'm just gonna push all the soil back against it. just enough to bury the roots of the thing. Throw some leaves on there. Oops, sorry guys. There we go. There's the, there's our passion fruit planted. So next step is to water it. So I'm gonna be first just watering it with normal water then I'm going to be watering it with sea salt and I'm going to be using the same 1.5 litre watering can. Our 9 litre watering can at the moment is broken. It's just the, um, the end spout is broken. So I can't use that because I don't want to put too much water all on at once. So I'm going to go grab our 1.5 litre watering can. So here's the water. So we're just going to pour the water in just nice and gently over the soil till we use the whole 1.5 litres just nice like this pour a little bit on the leaves just to get the leaves all nice and wet it is warm so you don't need to really worry about any funguses on the leaves at this stage not until a couple months from now when it hits winter Anyway, so there we go. So next step is I'm gonna grab some, uh, the sea salt. So the sea salt solution is one cap of the sea salt per nine liters, but I am just gonna put one cap in the 1.5 liter, uh, just to give it a bit of extra strength. It won't hurt the plant, it'll just help it a lot. Now, here's our sea salt. I'm just gonna put the sea salt around the roots as well can put a little bit on top of the leaves. So sea salt isn't a fertilizer. It's actually a, um, it helps with uh, root growth. It helps the roots suck up nutrients into them and then gives it to the rest of the plant. But it contains very, very little actual amounts of nutrients, but the little it does contain is actually nitrogen. So the nitrogen helps with leaf growth so we're just going to finish pouring all the sea salt all over the 
plant. And there we go. So that's our uh, passion fruit all transplanted. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in future videos.